What is up guys? Welcome back for another Battle Factory episode today on Thursday. Uh, just a little update before we get started here for tomorrow's upload for the PWM. Apparently I'm way ahead of everybody else and the PWM is lagging. So we won't be having our battle for this week because uh, they're still on week two for some reason. We already had our week two battle. So uh, we're going to be waiting until next week to upload our week three battle. I'll try to get a showdown live for you tomorrow. Uh, in replacement for the one that would normally be on Saturday to pair with other episodes of things. But regardless, uh, we're going to have to wait till, till next Friday for that. So today we're back for Battle Factory. What I really like about Battle Factory, of course, is the fact that I don't have to make a team beforehand. They're just given to me, so that's awesome. As you can see here, we have our nice little uh, Rowlet. Uh, lit and Poplio's over on the right, but nobody really cares about Poplio. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. If you like Poplio, uh, good to you, but uh, I personally don't like the design. Anyway, uh, we've got our 7th gen starters here. Uh, by the time this goes live, uh, we should have new info on... Uh, on Pokemon Sun and Moon, so that's why I decided to use this background today. So we're just gonna hop into it We're gonna get a couple of battles have some fun today and see how it goes So uh, let's see how many people are actually playing Battle Factory. So we got one right away uh, We have the UU tier it seems we don't have any OU Pokemon. So it's definitely UU and uh, This guy has a Galvantula. We can deal with that, right? What do we have? We have Life Orb a lot of things, don't we? Uh, what's our Reuniclus? It's also Life Orb. Yep, it's Life Orb everything. All right, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna lead with, uh, I think Fortress is good. Yeah, Fortress is solid. He's got a rapid spinner, but I'd rather uh, I'd rather be in against the Galvantula so I can spin away his hazards, uh, his sticky webs. So, just gonna go for that spike right now. Obviously, we don't have any special defense, so uh, we're not gonna be able to take a thunder too well. We are just gonna get up a spike right here. It does hit his whole team, so uh, it's gonna be nice and uh, nice and solid there. I'm really curious to know what the news is gonna be tomorrow. A lot of people are saying it's gonna be the starter evos. Uh, a lot of jokes going around that they're going to be revealing the entire uh, Pokedex. Highly doubt it, but you never know with uh, with Pokemon with Game Freak. So, yeah. Uh, and I'm probably going to be making a review video. Uh, by the time you're seeing this, it might even be uh, ready to go up. So, I'm trying to get, I'm going to try to get up early uh, to see the uh, the news that comes out. But yeah. So here we're just going to go for I think a Volt Switch as we can rapid spin later. Uh, what can we rapid spin on though? Probably the Crocodile. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch here just to break, break this thing's potential Sash. If he actually chooses to go straight into Crook, okay. Well, I can just rapid spin on you then. And, uh, that'll be fine. So, bye bye Rocks and Webs. And here we can go into nothing. <laughs> Everything gets destroyed by this thing. Uh, that's not true. Hydreigon can definitely take a hit. Fire back a superpower. Yeah, I'm feeling Hydreigon here. That's that's perfectly fine. He's going to break our sturdy if he decides to go for rocks again, but he doesn't. He goes for taunt, which is awesome. And uh, obviously I couldn't stay in Gyro Ball. This thing had an Intimidate off on me, so... Um, what's... Oh, Ray, yeah, okay. He taunted me. I thought we were Assault Vest with Roost for a second. I was like, what's going on? Why, why did they give us this set? But no, that is not the case. And uh, I'm just going to fire off a superpower here. It is Life Orb. Should be able to do a lot to this thing. And it does 50%, so not as much as I would have liked. But I am going to be able to get off a of Draco right here. He might want to switch into something that could take a superpower like Dawnfan, so it would get murked right here. And uh, he is going to switch in his Galvantula, which is awesome. And that's going to go straight down to the Draco. It should. Yeah, there we go. All right, perfect. Goodbye, Gal Galvantula. I should have probably restarted my PC before I started recording because uh, I'm still lagging out. It's been the past couple of episodes now. It's kind of aggravating, but uh, we'll live with it. Um, here... Tempted to go Reuniclus, but if this thing is Specs, then I'm gonna get destroyed. Um, Dragology's not bad. Uh, Agron. I mean, he's probably gonna go for a Tri Attack, right? Or an Ice Beam. So Agron's pretty safe. Yeah, there's the Ice Beam. We're only gonna take. Uh, what are we gonna take from that? 22, so not too bad. And right here, I can just fire off. Uh, I can get out my own rocks, actually. That wouldn't be too bad. Then again, he does have two, uh, two resistance, three resistances to the rocks, so. Not too great. Just going to fire off a Heavy Slam, attempt to get rid of this thing as he goes for another Ice Beam. He seems to be Choice Locked. And goodbye, Porygon. No, not exactly. All right. Well, I'm just going to go for Rocks because uh, I do have a couple of things that outspeed this thing. And uh, if he's locked into Ice Beam, that I can play accordingly as well. And he'll uh, go down to the Hazards, so I'm kind of afraid of Dawnfan coming in. At the same time, don't really care. Yeah, let's just go for Rocks. Uh, as he does 17% to us, and here I'm going to 
Uh, do I need this? Do I need this? No, I don't. I can just roar him here. And uh, hopefully he doesn't freeze us. He does not. And we get out of roar into who? It's going to be into the Feraligator. So a little bit scary. Uh, I am just going to roar this thing as well in case he wants to set up. But he just chooses to go for a waterfall. Good play on his part. And uh, I think he's more than likely life orb. What can we do here? Um... If he's got Ice Punch, it's going to take out Dragalge, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think Reuniclus is the smartest play, to be honest. Uh, pretty solid defense. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to go Reuniclus. If he has the Crunch, he has the Crunch. It's going to do a lot, but I don't think it's actually going to take us out. And uh, Life Orb, Psyshox should do quite a bit to this thing. He does have the Crunch, as you can see. And we are going to get off a of Psyshock right here. It is going to do a lot of damage, but not enough to take him out. And another crunch would take us out, but we do have something that's faster than this and resists the crunch. So I'm just going to go straight into Hydreigon here. And now I can drop a Draco on this guy. Oh, it gets a crit on the crunch. Not a big deal, though. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to drop this Draco Meteor right here. I'm going to take out the Feraligator. Threat neutralized. And now, depending on what he goes into, I'm assuming Mianxiao. Actually, he chooses to go Don Fan. Okay. Well, I'm just going to drop another Draco, because I don't have a switch into this thing. He chooses to go for Ice Shard, that's perfectly fine. And, uh, is Dragalge faster than this? Not if it's offensive, it's not. That's a little bit of an issue. Um, what can I do here? What can I do here? I'm basically banking on Darmanitan to win, but it is Life Orb, so that could be an issue. Hmm. Huh. Just go Jigalji and hope that we're faster. Why are we so slow? Uh, nah, there's no way his non fan's actually running speed, is there? I'm scared. Guys, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna go for the Draco Meteor. And uh, he gets off an Earthquake, unfortunately, so he is faster than us. And uh, we're gonna go Renoclus here and try to set up and win. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work out, obviously. Nah, he has a Crocodile. That's not gonna work. Uh, just gonna go for a Recover right here. He's going to go for knockoff. He has all the coverage, apparently. So, uh, does he have rapid spin, though? That, that is the question. Uh, just going to go Darmanitan here. And we are going to go for the Life Orb Flare Blitz. It's going to do a lot to this thing. It's actually going to knock it straight out. So, we didn't even need to waste all that time. Uh, he's going to go Crook right here. Uh, we saw Stealth Rocks and Taunt from this thing. So, I can just fire off another Flare Blitz right here. Probably didn't have to do that, but uh, either way, I still have my... I mean, I still have my Fortress alive. His Porygon goes down to Hazards, as we saw before. That's why I really wanted to keep the rocks up. And Mian is probably faster than us. So I'm actually just going to Flare Blitz right here. And uh, hope he misses a high jump kick, I guess. We can still win this because uh, Mian shouldn't be able to do too much to our Fortress. He is Life Orb, though. So after the Life Orb and Gyro Ball, I think we might even be able to take him out. We are 216 attack, and I don't think he can knock us out with one high jump kick. It's neutral. And uh, we have 416 defense, so he's going to go for sub right here. Not exactly sure why. He's letting me get leftovers and potentially get back to sturdy. So that's not a very good play. Uh, his play is to high jump kick and hope for a crit, so uh, he does not get it. He, if he got a crit before before the leftovers, uh, he might have been able to take us out with a high roll, but we are able to snag up that game. I really thought I was going to uh, lose. <laughs> excuse me. So uh, that's, uh, that's a good one right there. Awesome. Okay, let's get another one. Uh, we are at 8 minutes, 42 seconds. Going to try to keep this short. I like shorter lives, I think, uh, for, for retention time and stuff. So you guys uh, don't have to listen to me talk forever. If you enjoy my uh, my talking, let me know <laughs> if you enjoy my commentary and stuff. But uh, regardless, I don't think uh, I don't think 30, 35 minute videos are, uh, are too good. So right here, uh, Choice Specs Pyro pretty much mercs his team. So I'm just going to lead with that. Uh, his Pharaoh Seed goes down, his Tangela goes down, his Jinx goes down, his uh, <laughs> Monchan can't switch in, neither can his Skuntank unless it's AV. The only thing that's a real switch in, if he predicts Fire Blast, is Basculin, so. Uh, he is gonna lead with Skuntank. I'm just gonna fire off a Fire Blast right here. We are Choice Specs, let's see how much it does. And goodbye, Skuntank. Yep, <laughs> Pyroar pretty much plows us through his team, it's just... It's crazy, and we have uh, Roselia as well to take on the Basculin, so I'm pretty sure we can take a hit. We have Weezing as well, so that's uh, that's another option we can go into. Uh, Choice Banded, though. Not not really digging that. Um, what can we do here? Yeah, Roselia seems to be the switch. We don't have a lot of physical defense, but the Eevee Light helps, and we do resist any water move he throws at us. He actually chooses to double into Jinx, so good play on his part. 
I really like that. That was really good. Um, tempted to just throw out a sleep powder. I'm pretty sure we can take an ice beam with our bulk. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Uh, what do I want to do here? Kind of just want to go cryogonal. At the same time, I can't hit this thing back. Yeah, let's just sleep powder. That's fine. He goes for psychic. So ice beam would have done the same amount of damage. And right here, we can throw out a spike. And pretty much, uh, well, nothing really would have a sash, I don't think. Uh, but I just like to have that spike up just in case. He is He does stay asleep for two turns. So we're going to be able to get off this huge leaf storm right here. Whoa, that did a lot more than I thought it would. Okay. Uh, probably should have just sludge bombed. But he is going to get off the psychic right there. Uh, we are, unless he's scarfed. He could be scarfed. I don't really want to take a hit with Pyro if he is scarfed. Um actually going to do I want to test out if he's scarfed or not it's kind of my my train of thought is to maybe go into Caracosta and uh, set up my rocks uh, actually Caracosta takes hits from Basculin pretty well as well it's got a lot of defense and it is solid rock so well not that his waterfall is super effective because we are part water but I am just gonna do that I'm just gonna get up rocks here uh, I know he has a spinner. I'm, I'm very well aware of the Hitmonchan right there, but I'm going to get them up anyway. He does go for Psychic again, which pretty much indicates that he's more than likely Scarfed. So I'm just going to go into Slagoo here that can take a Psychic for days. And uh, he gets a crit right there. Luckily, no Specs drop. And we will be able to fire back with a Thunderbolt. Pretty much hits his whole team, barring... Well, no, he has two resists, but... Anyway, it's a uh, accurate move. Uh, it's not immune uh, by anything. I had a, I think I have a poison move on here. I didn't want to go for that in case he switched into Pharisee for whatever reason. But uh, able to take out the Jinx right there, and his Hitmonchan does choose to come out. If it wants to go for Rapid Spin, it's going to take a lot of damage in the process, as it will take a Life Orb hit and it will take a Draco if I hit. Indeed, and goodbye Hitmonchan. I didn't know Slugu was that strong. Okay. Alright, so that thing's gone. And uh, I still have my Stealth Rocker alive, so not uh, not worried at all. Uh, the only issue is the Basculin. I will let the Basculin knock me out right here. Uh, I am just going to go for the Thunderbolt. And I can proceed to go, I think, Cryogonal. Well, no, whoa, 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 this thing has no defense. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm going Wheezing and I'm, uh, I'm burning something. If he wants to stay in with this, that's fine. But I'm going for the Will-O-Wisp right here. He might want to switch out. I would personally switch out. This is this is your win condition. Like you don't let this thing get burned ever. And uh, he can pretty much go into Ferrocied and just start setting up hazards, which would really hinder. Actually, it would really hinder my team. The good thing is, as long as I have Weezing healthy, he can never lock himself into Aqua Jet. Well, I mean, he technically could, but he wouldn't come out on top in that situation. Like I have cryogonal i have caracosta that can definitely take the hit i have wheezing that walls it forever and i'm just gonna go for taunt right here as his Seed will not be able to do anything but gyro ball me and uh i will proceed to switch hmm what do i want to switch in here i'm gonna go pyroar and basically as long as this thing is taunted it can't touch me and i can probably fire off a specs uh hyper voice to be honest obviously tangela can take it but i don't want to go for fire blast while basculin is alive Honestly, I think that's just uh, okay. So he chooses to switch out into Basculin directly. So good play on his part. Um, I kind of need Cry. No, I don't. I don't. I have this thing. What am I saying? I don't need Cryogonal. Let's go Cryogonal. You're going down. You're sacrificing yourself for the team right now. <laughs> Come on. Uh, waterfall incoming, right? Yeah. And we go straight down to that. That pretty much tells me he's banded. Like there's there's no way he's not banded. So we'll go into Weezing. I'm really curious. I'm not going to run any Calyx because this is Battle Factory, but I'm, I'm really, really curious to know how much uh, a Hyper Voice does to this thing. Must do a tremendous amount. Probably knocks it out, but uh, I'm just going to... Hmm, what do I want to do here? I kind of want to double into Caracosta, honestly. But Will-O-Wisp is just all around the best play every time. And, uh, like I said, as long as Weezing and Pyro are both alive, we're pretty much good to handle the rest of his team, so. Yep. And, uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident this thing has Aqua Jet. It should. As he lets his Tangela get burned, which is awesome, and we can just go for a Sludge Bomb right here. 
and just uh, do a tremendous amount to this thing. This is going to do like 40 or 50%. It's going to be a two-hit KO, that's for sure. Oh, never mind, it does 73, so he's probably not EV light. Uh, he puts us to sleep, which is a little bit worrisome. Probably should have taunted there, but uh, he is regenerator, right? Yeah, he's more than likely regenerator. Um, just going to burn off a turn of sleep right here. Hopefully he doesn't hit me too hard with anything. He goes for a leaf storm. That actually does quite a bit. Now I'm a little bit scared. Uh, I really have to go for the uh, for the hyper voice on the Basculin at some point as he brings it in right away. And uh, we're going to have to try to wake up right here in pain split. He's going to go for the waterfall. It's going to do a lot as we do wake up. So we will. Oh, we flinch. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. What can I do? I still need to keep him from aqua jetting though. So I'm going to go into Caracosta, who takes the hit quite nicely, actually. Um, but he will die to the next one. I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks in case he wants to switch out. Uh, he is going to stay in, however. And I'm going to go Pyroar and uh, just fire off a Hyper Voice, honestly, at this point. We are faster, and it's going to do a lot of damage. So if he goes into Ferrocede, I'm going straight into Weezing. How much did we take from his last Waterfall? 37, I think. Okay, so he's actually not banded, but Aquaja does not manage to take us out. So we will take this game, basically. Um, actually, hold on a second. We're locked in a Hyper Voice. If he gets off a Stealth Rock right now, I have to go for Hyper Voice right here. Do 26% to this thing as he does go for Leech Seed. And uh, after the next Hyper Voice, he's not going to be able to 1v1 Weezing, I don't think. No, I have I have Taunt, so he's, he's going down. Uh, he goes for the Stealth Rock right there, really not going to matter. I'm just going to go for the Taunt right here. Stop him from being able to use his uh, his Leech Seed. And if his only offensive move is Gyro Ball, that's going to do absolutely nothing as we're both slow. He goes for Seed Bomb, as you can see that does zero. And uh, we will just Sludge Bomb for the heck of it. I was really tempted to Pain Split there and give him back some HP, but I'm not messing around. <laughs> Let's go. We're getting wins on Battle Factory today, guys. We are getting wins, and uh, hopefully this last one will be quick. We don't have to play around Mons. We do get NU again, or this is, uh, no, this is PU. Okay, I always get low tiers when I play this. I never get the one I want, which is OU. Come on. Well, I mean, we play OU all the time, so it's okay. Uh, this allows us to check out a couple of different tiers, so that's all right. And here, um, this is kind of counterintuitive. Oh, we're Flash Fire Night Tales. Okay, never mind. We're okay. We're Flash Fire... Life Orb, Nasty Plot. Okay, so this just wins <laughs> late game. This just destroys this whole team. Um, kind of weary with the Sucker Punch. What do I have to keep alive to deal with the Zan Goose? I think Masharna. Yeah, Masharna has good defense. I'm just going to lead... Print Plop is my most solid lead every time. He leads with Skun Tank, which is obviously potentially a Defogger. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Scald right here, attempt to burn this thing. He pretty much can't touch us. We have 387 defense, so... Unless he's special. Special is a possibility. He could be running, uh... Hold on a second. Is this NU? No, this is NU. Sorry. Yeah, there's a, Gar a Garbodor and stuff. So, uh... My mistake. Excuse me. <laughs> we are definitely in NU and not PU. Uh, I thought because of Ponyard. I should have looked it over, but... Anyway. Um... Yeah, so we're gonna be able to get off a Scald right here. Nothing switches in well to a Scald. If I burn the, uh... The Zangoose, then it can never get its Toxic Boost. He goes for Hidden Power, doesn't do too, too much. Obviously, you can see he's special right there. That was the only ch uh, chance of him actually being able to hit us. Uh, for that to hit us on the super effective side means he has to be HP Grass or HP Electric, which means what? Which means that Cacturn... Well, Cacturn gets destroyed by a Poison move, so I, don't re I really don't want to do that. Um, Ninetales is relatively safe. I'm pretty sure it's HP Grass, to be honest. So I'm just going to go Muck. We pretty much wall this thing. Uh, he's going to go for the Dark Pulse right there. That's going to do close to nothing. And we're going to be able to fire off a... A what? A what? I'm going to go for Ice Punch right here. There's a chance to freeze, so... Might as well go for it. There we go. Get off a nice 34%. And the next one will kill. So I think I might uh, switch it up and go for Fire Punch. Because on Ice Punch, what would he go into? More than likely his Cryogonal, right? He doesn't want this to die. I guess he just wants his skunt tank to go down, so that's going to be fine. We're going to be able to take that thing out with a fire punch. Our muck did get weakened, but I didn't really need this thing, to be honest. Uh, it gets destroyed by Rhydon, by Masharna, Zangoose, Oko's it even from, I think, like 80%, so really wasn't doing much. Maybe walls the Cryogon a little bit, but that's about it. 
I might keep it around depending on uh, on what he goes into. If he goes into Rhydon, I just want damage on that thing so that uh, Cacturn can Oko it. I'm pretty sure Cacturn Oko's regardless, but anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna... I don't want to really keep Muck if he goes into Rhydon. It's not a big priority. Choose to go into Zangoose though, so definitely letting this thing go, go down. I'm just going for a Gunk Shot. His knockoff does knock us out and he gets the Toxic Boost. And uh, what do I want to go into here? Uh, we are Life Orb there. We are Eevee Light there. I'm really curious to know what this thing normally carries. What is the highest defense? Uh, print Plup, obviously, right? Yeah, let's go to Print Plup. Um, not sure we can take two facades. Not even sure if we can take one, to be honest. But just going to go for the Stealth Rocks here. Get them up for, uh, for everything, really. Uh, facade does not knock us out, which is good. So that's going to give him two rounds of poison. And we are going to go for the Scald on the off chance he doesn't want to attack for whatever reason. He, ju he does just knock us off. We didn't really need Print Plup. It would have been nice to keep, but we have like so many... Oh, wait a minute. We are special. Oh, why are we special? Come on. I do have Sucker Punch on this thing. Uh, I can just go for that. Curious to know how much it does. Again, I don't want to Calc, but like... Alright, guys. This is going to be the one Calc I make. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't do this. Um, Ponyard... Ponyard, Ponyard, Ponyard. Uh, not Little Cup, where are you? Uh, NU Swords Dance versus Zangoose. How much do you do? Let's see. Let's see how much a Sucker Punch does. Not enough. Not even close. Um, what does this thing carry? Close combat? Yeah, we're dead. Um, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go into Ponyard. And I'm going to pull a double into Masharna. Because I want to get him in range of Sucker Punch with this thing. The Zen Goose gets Sucker Punch, it gets Quick Attack, which is not going to do anything, even with the Toxic Boost. Is this already, is that already factored in? Please tell me it's already factored in. Status badly poisoned, okay, good. So we're going to go into Masharna, it's going to lower his defense, and that's actually going to be allow us to, hold on a second, if Close Combat, which is a base 120 move, which is reduced to 60, did 16%. That did six. that did 17%, and Facade goes to 220, I believe, no, 210. So that's a little under four times. Yeah, we live. Wait a minute. We live this. Guaranteed. We even live the knockoff. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just get the Psy Shock off, Masharna. Knock out the Zangoose. Yes, there we go. All right, we can still Moonlight, out, actually. This thing is still useful. Wow, we didn't even need to use our Ponyard. That's crazy. Um, Cacturn. Cacturn wins at this point. He goes into his own Masharna. Uh, are you going to Calm Mind up alongside me? I'm going to Calm Mind right now. What are you going to do? You're going to Calm Mind, except I'm going to Baton Pass this into my Ninetales and Nasty Plot up. So... wonder what you're going to do to that. Here we go. Let's do it, guys. Let's sweep them up. Nasty Plot right now. Here we go. We, ha we have plus one special defense. We're good. Uh, actually, he's at plus two special attack, and he probably has the same set as me with uh, Psy Shock, so this might be a mistake. I might want to, might have wanted to go into my Ponyard there, but uh, that's okay. We'll just uh, we'll rock with this. We should be able to live any one hit. I think it doesn't have the best special attack. Come on. I mean, it took out a Zangoose, but still. He goes for Barrier and inc increases his defense for some reason. Oh, he's he must be Stored Power. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's special. That's fine. We're okay. I can just fire off Fire Blasts here. And hopefully land. Yes, 58%. That's huge. Ooh, the life orb damage. What did he go for? Calm mind? Yeah, we're okay. Uh, I'm going to go for another nasty plot, I think. Can he live this? I'm not sure. I really don't want to waste my fire blast for no reason. I'm pretty sure we can take a, uh, a stored power. So he's going to moonlight up exactly. That's what I thought he'd do. And I'm going to go for another fire blast right here. We're going to take some more life orb damage, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, God, no. Okay, well, he went for Moonlight again. That's fine. I can just Fire Blast again. It's all good. It's all good, guys. We're good. <laughs> he misplayed. He should have just attacked me there, honestly. He could have just straight up won this game. But uh, he decided that uh, that, wasn't, that wasn't favorable for him. So we are going to get the burn right there. That's huge. That's huge. That's a 10% burn chance. He's going to go for Moonlight right here. And uh, I think we're just going to keep spamming Fire Blast at this point now that he's burned. And uh, we're going to do 60% at a time, so that's going to be taking off a lot of health. He's just going to go for the Stored Power that turn, and we're going to be able to knock him out with Ponyard. 
We are faster, right? 219, 172, yeah, definitely. And if that's his only attacking move... Hold on a second, that's his only attacking move. He can't even touch us. I'm just gonna go for SD. Actually. I just want to see something. I want to see how much Rhydon... Right on, and you tank. How much do you take from a knockoff, right on? 18, you take a lot from Iron Head though. Do we have Iron Head? Yes, we do. How much do I need to be at? Is plus four enough? Almost. So if he lets me get to plus six, if he stays in right here, he does switch out into his Garb Garbador, really? Okay, wait a minute. The roll is still technically in our favor because of Stealth Rocks. Even if we're at plus four. I don't want to risk this thing having Drain Punch. That's why I'm uh, I'm thinking of just going for knockoff here. He does have Drain Punch and he's faster than us. Ah. How do we beat this now? I have to go into Masharna and set up again. <sighs> That's frustrating. Come on, we had that. <sighs> I'm crying a little bit inside, guys. Oh, he missed the gunk shot. Okay, we're okay. All right, <laughs> let's go for the Calm Mind. Unless he gets a poison on a gunk shot, we should be okay. He seems to be offensive, but um, he does go for the gunk shot there. Does not get the poison. Okay, gonna moonlight. Gonna moonlight. As long as he doesn't get a poison, we should be able to take him on now. He's gonna go for another uh, gunk shot here. He is gonna land it. No poison. No poison. Gonna moonlight up again. He's gonna miss one of these gunk shots at some point. He does get the poison there. Okay, I think we're still okay though. Let's see. The thing is, my Cacturn is special. So, and if his only Psychic move on Masharna... Hold on. Here we go. Okay. We need to go for Baton Pass right away, I think. Because his Rhydon should be faster than us. If his only attacking move on Masharna is a Psychic move, we might be able to win with Cacturn. Right now. Um, how much would I do to Cryogonal? Not enough. I need to set up a couple more Con Mines. He goes for the Mega Horn right there. Ah, uh, he needs to miss a Mega Horn. Come on, miss. Or is he just gonna go for EQ right here? He's probably just gonna go for EQ, right? That was huge, man. Why did he have to have uh, Drain Punch and be faster than Ponyard? Why did I not know that he was faster than Ponyard? He is gonna go for EQ right there. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, well, not technically not, because we can flinch everything. So it's not over yet. I'm just gonna go for Giga Drain here. Gonna knock out his right on. And we can still win. We can still win. His Masharna is burned too. He goes into Cryogonal. I'm gonna Dark Pulse. See how much it does. Uh, he is faster than us and he goes for Frost Breath. Oh well, okay. Alright, so that's gonna wrap up the uh, the Battle Factory Live, guys. It was a lot longer than I would have expected it to be, unfortunately. That last battle took forever, but uh, 28 minutes is okay. As long as we're not at 30, I'm okay. If you did enjoy, hit that like button down below. If you want to see more of these and, uh, and any of the other content that I put out, subscribe, of course, so you get all the content in your sub box. Leave a comment if you want to know anything about anything. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Ciao.